Are you ready to feel old? The movie Footloose is celebrating a big anniversary this week. It's been four decades since it was filmed right here in Utah. Oh, this is the original with Kevin Bacon, yes. not the newer one, Julianne Hough. <laughs> well, whether you've seen the movie or had a chance to be an extra, the film's anniversary is worth celebrating. New specialist Brianna Chavez spent the afternoon in Payson to find out how some high school students are commemorating this iconic movie. We're here at Payson High School, home of the Lions and home of the iconic movie Footloose, celebrating its 40th anniversary. Students tell me they've been working really hard this school year to get the star's attention. Now I gotta cut loose, cut loose. It's been four decades since actor Kevin Bacon danced his way through Utah County. That hallway that, you know, you see the walkers and they're doing with the Walkman. It's hard not to get caught up in the nostalgia walking through the halls at Payson High School. I walk past that every day making a lasting impression. Definitely the tractor scene. I laugh every time, it's yeah. great. <laughs> Especially for students like Scott Jardine. Footloose has always been like a really core part of Payson. I think Payson's the one place that you could ask like 100 people and every single one of them has watched Footloose. He and other students have been campaigning for months to get Bacon to Payson this school year. From cardboard cutouts of the actor to videos of the Footloose stance on social media, all to invite Kevin Bacon to their prom this spring. It's going to be awesome because it's Footloose prom. That's going to be the theme for the dance. Students are also inviting the community to contribute to Bacon's charity, Six Degrees. We are trying to build 5,000 kits the day of prom, and those will go out to to local um, charities and homeless shelters. While it's been lots of fun, it's also bittersweet. The school is set to be demolished in 2025. Like, even though it's old, it's definitely old, but, it, like, there's so many memories here. Jenny Staley says seeing her students and community involvement has been the most rewarding. Really, it has been a school-wide, community-wide, statewide, in a lot of ways, effort. All in hopes Kevin Bacon can get everyone dancing one more time. If he's willing to take some time out of his schedule and come back and be a part of this. There's just, it's a win for everyone. Kevin, please come. We've been trying so hard all year. And prom is just two months away. Students tell me that they are working really hard to make sure that the prom is a really fun event for students and for the community. Fingers crossed that Kevin Bacon will be here soon. Reporting in Payson, Brianna Chavez, KSL 5 News.